Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming my own personal most anticipated video of the new year, which is going to be resetting and redoing my Notion for the new year. Everyone knows I love Notion. <laughs> everyone around me knows that I love Notion. I use it as like a second brain. It keeps all of my school deadlines. It keeps all of my appointments, things I can't miss when I have to pay my credit card bill. Those things are all in my Notion. And every couple months I like to go over it and change up how it looks, change the pages that I have, just go over and assess what's working for me and what isn't so i thought the new year is what what a better time right to redo my notion it's really such a lifesaver and there's a couple things that i wanted to show you guys that i'm going to be doing in this video first of which is going over my last notion page and sort of figuring out what worked and what didn't what pages i kept what pages i deleted and what i changed from my new notion second i just want to show you my new notion that i set up that is going to be the notion i'm using for the next couple months and lastly i just want to show you what i use to keep track of my personal and academic life to do the best that i can i just want to say before i start this video i really love notion but this video is not sponsored by notion if anyone from the notion team is watching this my business email is in the description box I'm not kidding. So starting this page that I ominously have titled previously, I just keep all of my old Notion pages. I like keeping them because there's pages that I don't always keep and bring into my new Notion. And I just like having and seeing what my Notion used to be. So this has been my Notion since March of 2022. I have a video on my channel making this Notion page and I really, really love how it turned out. As you can tell, it's very much spring and bright and pastel and pink. And I was really into tulips at this time. I really, really love this page. Very sweet. I want to go over my school notion page for last semester i did an entire video just to my school notion because of how helpful it is and i want to go back and reflect and say what worked and what didn't because i did have some new pages that i incorporated this semester and also these goals because now i'm done the semester i did i mean i did amazing like i didn't miss a single deadline i submitted things way in ahead yeah i'm i'm happy with the results of this notion page so i did not use any of this this semester i didn't keep any notes um this class i did for a little bit but like i said i just really didn't have that many tests the main thing that i used the entire semester is of course my deadline pages and specifically the calendar page on this and let me explain a little bit why this page is so important when it comes to homework and delegating tasks and planning when you're going to do things it's so easy for me to look at this calendar then i can a see what deadlines come first so i know what to prioritize but also mentally i can decide where i'm at with each assignment and which one needs to be prioritized so with the calendar again just the fact that it's visual like this and with the colors really 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 helps me i didn't have notifications on for my assignment this semester because truly i just had this open every single day i never missed a single thing so this is obviously a page that i very much kept in terms of the homework i did use this it did help me but i just think it was a little too much i think looking at the course deadlines and knowing what i have do when just helped me decide when i need to do my tasks so this is my old school page. I love it. I'm going to try to make a template of it this time and put it in my description or in a comment because people asked for it in my last video and I just, I didn't know how to make it. So I'm going to learn and I'm going to put a template. This main page I thought was very, very pretty, very cute, very motivating, everything like that. But toward the end of the semester, I found myself almost solely going for this page right here, which is the weekly page. This is sort of like having a to-do list, but already for every single day so like i probably mentioned in my notion tour these weekly pages are for things i need to be at at certain times so things that are scheduled class appointments interviews meetings things like that things that i can't miss if there are things that i want to get done i will make a separate to-do list listing out everything that i need to get done recently i've been doing that in my journal and down here i have my important dates so this weekly page it goes without saying made it over to my next notion page so some things i deleted i deleted this spring inspiration just doesn't fit and i really didn't add anything to this i deleted to-do list again because i've been making them on my journal as much as it pains me i deleted this page as well i have a separate reading tracker and the rest i just don't really need to keep track of the movies i'm watching and when i'm going to the gym as much as i really really love this page like i just love how it looks these three i merged into one and then the habit tracker gone and important dates gone because it's right under weekly so i'm i just don't need it and then toward the end of the year i kind of started dumping pages into here as you can tell they're not organized i think part of me knew that i was just gonna eventually make a new notion page and this would be organized so now i get to unveil my new notion page it is not anything special because like i say in basically every notion tour 
I need it to be simple and to the point. I don't want to go to a page within a page. I want it to be simple and easy to navigate and just what I need. So I'm going to insert clips of the other day when I put my Notion page together. You'll see the aesthetic, you'll see the colors that I went for. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed watching me make my Notion tour. I know I have a fun time every single time. And this is the final product that I have as of right now. I'm sure it'll get tweaked and changed as time goes on, especially these photos. I I'm sure I might just... So for the tour of my new Notion, obviously I went to Pinterest, found my favorite photos, and I've loved keeping a blue-white theme, even with the emojis. First, we have my weekly page. It is the exact same as my previous Notion page, but I just changed the colors to be just this pastel pink and purple, and the emojis I changed as well to be just clouds. I just think it looks very clean and minimalistic. And down here, I have the same calendar, which I just keep under here because I use it as my normal calendar. Next we have creative. This is where I keep my bookshelf so I keep track of what I'm reading as well as my YouTube video ideas. This is an example of how I plan out my YouTube videos and things like that. This next one hasn't changed yet. This is the goals and reflection from 2023 and I guess I can show you them now that the year's over. I will definitely be redoing this. I love this one so much but I do have to update it for the new year. So I've yet to do that. It's more of a sit down, clear your mind, meditate, journal, and then plan out your mood boards, vision boards situation. And I'm completely happy waiting to do that. I don't feel like I need to do that on the first of the year. I like feeling out the vibe of the year first and then deciding what I want. But I do love a vision board so much. Down here we have my school. I am very, very happy with how my school page turned out this time so this is my school page this i made last night when i couldn't sleep and i started planning out this video for right now i like how this looks once again plain and simple and i kept the two things that worked best for me which were the course deadlines and the homework i kept the same affirmations i might change them i might not and i kept the three-year plan of all of the courses that i'm going to take in my university career first we have my course deadlines page as you guys know this is always my favorite page even though it's like about work and homework and tests and studying an exam, looking at it and seeing all the colors and in a pretty visual way makes it seem a lot less daunting than what it is, which is like doing work and doing homework. Getting to check it off from my notion is like such a gratifying feeling that I don't even, I'm like, yeah, I can remind myself that I can do these. So once again, I just input every single one of my things for every single one of my classes through my syllabus separated them by their individual classes as well and of course of course the calendar this is by far my favorite feature i just love it so much last but not least i have the dream which is basically just sort of an online manifesting board for me this is once again not updated from 2023 so it's just something i have to update it never felt complete so maybe this is something i can finish off this year and that is it for my current updated notion it might change and you might see it come up in my videos in the future and it'll look a little bit different than this just because i'm not fully I'm, I'm never done with my notion and i usually go in the middle of the night and change them part three of the specific pages that keep me on track i feel like you can tell what they are already 
it is the course deadlines and weekly if you have only those two pages on your notion it's worth it you don't have to have all of these other pages of manifesting boards and goals and a reading tracker you really don't need all of that if you're someone that really just needs a calendar in ways that you can visualize all of your deadlines and in your own personal deadlines and appointments that is something that i highly highly recommend so Thank you so, so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some inspiration from it. I hope you like looking at my Notion page. I know I love just browsing through it. Even if I'm not updating anything or going through anything, I just, it's a place that it's my second brain, you know, it just keeps, keeps me on track. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah.